Lady, ladies and gentlemen, that, that uh, uh, smiling face you see there with, I think I noticed Corona hair. Yes, exactly. I was going to tell you I have corona hair today. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably going to get worse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it just, it, I remember when you were bald. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I think, I was thinking maybe I should just go back to that. How long ago was that that you were bald? Oh, a little under a year ago. And, I mean, it lasted for two or three months till it really grew in again. But uh, yeah, but yeah, now, last year, middle of the year last year. Now look at you. You want a haircut, but yeah, you can't get one. It just, it's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> well, luckily, you're one of the states that's not currently facing a, a, yard, a huge uptick. Yes, we are. Oh, you are? Because I, uh, they, I mean, they It didn't... was so low that we almost looked like New Zealand for a long time. I mean, not that there weren't people who had died and people, but it was so low. We were like in the bottom 10, if you rank the states. Yeah. But when the... This latest explosion started, so it exploded here too. So our numbers are still low compared to a lot of places, but it's because we started lower. Yeah. Okay. But it's really going up now. Yeah. But but I looked at a at a map. You know, they put these maps up on TV, and I looked at Washington was like bright red or something like that, but Oregon was not really changing well, color. Because the numbers that they yeah. use, they apply the same numbers for their cutoff between red and yellow and orange mm -hmm. and all of that on the maps. They use the same numbers for every state. So as I said, ours are much, much lower to begin with, but for the number that we were, they've gone sky high now and are continuing to so far today. So well, here's the thing. There's a great way to get your numbers going down. Let me turn on my on the air light here. There we go. Uh, 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 to get those numbers down. And it's a, it's a significantly... Yes, it's called wearing a mask. No, it, 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 it's called don't test. Oh, well, can we not... <laughs> please? And this is... I can't think of anything more stupid. I, I just can't even... The can't only reason you it. got pan, just, the only reason you got pancreatic cancer was because you went to a doctor and he said you did. If you hadn't gone to that doctor, you wouldn't have had can pancreatic we, can cancer. We, no, no, I, just, I yeah. can't I even... Know, I know, I know. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. It's so uninformed. And he's got you know, these... I read somebody who was used to be in this White House, and I don't remember who, but somebody who isn't there anymore, but who worked with Trump for quite a while. Yeah who said that he believes that that Trump is incapable of understanding the concept of testing and what that means. Because I think, and, and that makes sense to me, because he's stupid about a lot of things. This one is just so incredibly awful. And, and, and you just, there's not, what's to say? I mean, I, I don't know the answer of what you say about that. Well, I'll tell you what. You know what else? Is, <clears throat> yeah. I I am so weary of him. And we've got a pandemic. If you look at Australia, New Zealand, Iceland, a great deal of Western Europe, they've done a wonderful job of controlling something that we don't know enough about to do anything about. Right. We could have had someone like that. You know, we could have if we'd voted differently, but we didn't. And you know, one of my readers said that she, who's a Canadian, said it. She said that to Canadians, it feels like they're living over a meth lab. Wow. You wow. Know, it's, it's just, it's just awful. Yeah. And of course, then I'm sure you heard today that that European Union is considering, strongly considering, not as they open up their countries, of not allowing any Amer any Americans in. Well, you know what our governor did today? He's passing an order uh, that anybody coming into the state with a from a from a state with a high infection rate. That would be anything over you, a one. Why would you? Why would you cherry pick the state? Wait, wait, Any state no, no, be. no. Because some of them have a low infection rate. I don't rate. care. Well, they're it, still sick. In any event, uh, what he's going to do is that anybody from those states who comes in is going to have to quarantine themselves for 14 days. You know, I don't understand self quarantine. How do they know people don't cheat? Well, one way they can tell is let's say somebody comes up from Florida, drives up from Florida, okay. 
and now he's driving around. And the cops check him out, and he just came into the state. But they don't. They've got other things to do. Yeah, I guess. You know what they don't have time to do? In our neighborhood, for some reason, we have had fireworks going off for a solid week. Well, I don't know what I can say about that. It seems the least of our problems. Well, it wouldn't be the least of your problems if you were lying there trying to go to sleep at well, night. Well, you know, given the virus and the president and the president's minions mm -hmm. um, who are doing their own terrible things, I... Right. I put fireworks way down the list. I understand the irritation, but we've got such big problems yeah. that unless somebody is being mangled by them, it, it just can we can we get on with what's really important? Well, just, the, the, yes, but uh, you know all these. There are a lot of problems right now, just a lot of them, and. Uh, I think, in a way, he counts on these things really acting up a bit. Um, Who's he? Trump. The governor? Yeah, Trump. I think he likes the demonstrations for Black Lives Matter because it takes the emphasis away from the coronavirus. And then he likes the coronavirus because it takes the emphasis away from something else. And he's always been the master of deflection. You know, I, I'm just weary I, I know you're weary. We're I all tired. Weary. We're all tired. And let's hope, let's hope that the rest of America feels like we do, that they're tired of this buffoon. I, um, it, it just, I can't stand it that every day, you know, and, and it suddenly struck me how I think he's going to win the election. For months, he's been leading up to talk about defunding the police defunding the post office and if people can't mail in their ballots how are we going to have an election well can i tell you a little story here that gripes me um i applied for a mail-in ballot and then marjorie got her mail-in ballot but i didn't well it doesn't mean anything insidious has gone on. Follow well, no, up and see what I did. I did. I wrote them five times, and I've not received a single reply. How about if you pick up the telephone? How difficult oh, is that? Oh, it, it, getting through to them? Ridiculous. Try. Don't bitch. Try. Well, I'll let, the latest letter I wrote them is, Go there. you have deprived me of my right to vote. Well, now, oh, and I just came to work today, and I'm worried about my kid well, no, catching I mean, the virus, I, I, and look, I'm going to answer you? Look, I guess not. Look, we sent the thing in. We've sent a second one in. You know, I see no recognition of it. Yeah, well, let me tell you. They are living the same life you and I are, scared shitless. Well, yeah, you but know? they're and also... They're working, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And they're trying to do things, and they're probably they're, getting contradictory uh, instructions Follow up. Do your end. You don't have to just sit there and check a box. You could actually do like go down to the place and say, "Hey, here's my." Problem. I have written them three different times, you and I've written the state. Or whatever I've it written is, the state. Or, I've written the state twice. Alex, thousands of letters are coming into those places. Thousands. Mm -hmm. You think you're special? Get off your ass and go to the office of that place. I, yeah, I'm going to go downtown in the coronavirus. Well, an awful lot of people do. I'm going to take a subway They're downtown. Masks. I'm going to take a subway downtown. Yeah. Would you? If you think it's that would, important. Would you? Would you? A whole lot of people yesterday stood in line all over the country to vote with a coronavirus floating around. Mm-hmm. And, There's nothing you can do right now. They're also not 80 years old. Or, they're also not 80 years old and in that, that area that's uh, compromised. You know. Get creative. Do something. I, I, just, I mean, you can complain all you want. That doesn't help the situation. Well, I've got more important things to deal with, like the firecrackers in our neighborhood. The, the I, fireworks. How do you just zoom <laughs> into the least important stuff? Um, it, it's... There's nothing more important. The only tool we have mm -hmm. to change the government in Washington is to vote. 
I, I know that. I, I, I signed up it's to vote. The only tool. I signed up to vote. Do something and not. And stop all, all I'm trying to point out here, Ronnie, is not that uh, that uh, that I I didn't get my thing because I didn't. But I'm trying to point well, out. Wait a minute. I'm trying about. to point out that there is a problem with mail-in ballots if they don't. Well, you're not pointing out that there's a problem. They didn't send you're just me one. That you didn't get yours. Go figure out how to get one, and then you could tell your audience what worked for you. Oh, yeah. Well, probably worked for me is I have to go down on a subway, which is a Petri dish, and go downtown all the way to the city hall, which is another Petri dish, which then probably isn't even open. So then I have to find okay, out where just, voter I, registration I, is. Just, just keep complaining. I think that's just fine then. No, I think that they should do their job. You don't know the pressures they're under. First of all, si local governments are out of money. They're not allowed to go into debt. They can't hire a whole bunch of new people because they don't have the cash. How no difficult fiscal. is it for them to simply write me back and say we're looking into it? Oh, really? And the stack is this high? Well, how about how about just this high of how about just a robo reply? The, did you write a letter or did you email? I emailed. Oh, well, you'll never hear anything. Do you know what their email boxes look like every morning? I should get, there should be some kind of robo uh, response, like we got your we got your letter, blah, 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 we're looking at it. I Can we stop this? I don't I'm know talking, talk to I'm about talking this. about efficiency. I where my, you complain, complain, and you don't do anything to No, because it. doing something compromises my health. Well, it just all depends and on isn't, how important isn't it is. And isn't one of the you. main reasons, isn't one of the main reasons for having these, these mail-in ballots for people like you and me who have our immunity compromised and cannot go to a polling place. And so, therefore, it should be made I easier rather than place, rougher. If we had such a thing, I would under all the safety conditions. It's that important. Yeah, and right. all those people all over the country, and I've forgotten how many states yesterday... You saw the photographs. They were there, standing in line for hours. Well, let me tell you this. It doesn't matter if I vote. Now, you're going to go crazy for me saying that. I I'm, I can't discuss it anymore. Well, I don't know how to talk because, to you about it. Because this state's going to vote for Biden anyway. There's, you oh, know. that's okay. So how many people do that all the time, and then well, we get people like be, Trump elected? Because my one vote gets distilled down into, like, 57, 87, whatever the electoral votes are in the Electoral College, it all gets distilled. It doesn't say, well, hey. Well, vote ever. Well, in New York, uh, voting Democratic is rather redundant. Okay, then everybody who's a Democrat shouldn't vote. Why bother? A lot of them are old anyway. And then we'll have Trump for another four years. No, if I don't vote for Biden in this state, in New York, am I going to change the vote at all? Am I going to change the outcome at all? It doesn't matter. Would now, you I understand election? if I lived if in Wisconsin, you don't do it, it, you'd have you're a, not doing your part as a citizen. But you'd have an argument for me if you, for instance, um, uh, if we were talking about me living in Wisconsin or, or living in uh, um, um, you know, Ohio, the states like that where they're pivotal states and your vote does really matter. I can't. Can we go somewhere else? I can't. You, you, you might as well be a Trumper to talk like that. No, I'm not a Trumper talking like that. I'm talking about a, a New Yorker living no, in New York. No, you can York. speak as a citizen of the United States. And the one way you have to participate, to do your part, to up, try to uphold democracy, is to vote. Yeah, well, you see, I Period. just... Yeah, There's I, no argument. We're talking about me voting in New York State. It doesn't matter what state. It's doing your part as a citizen of this country. At the risk of my life. I don't see why not. There's all kinds of ways to protect yourself. I go out to the pharmacy, to the grocery store, out to get my mail every day and my garbage, and I suit up. Yep. Gloves. And the next thing, I'm going to get one of these things because I had trouble breathing be with a mask because yeah. of the COPD. Yeah. So I'm going to use a mask with the face shield. The mask. Uh, so the ma the mask. Sometimes I'm not near anybody, I could pull it down a little bit. But, um, but, but that's, you, you know, I, that's your trade-off for being an American. No excuses, no fine-tuning what state I live in or who's up for election. You do your part. And I just, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I thought that I knew you. I would be happy to do my part if they did their part. Who's they?
way. The people are supposed to send me my goddamn mail-in ballot. I said I can't discuss this. <laughs> okay, I don't okay. Know how to talk uh, to you. Uh, you sound like Trump. Every excuse is just dumb. That isn't a dumb excuse. Yes, it is. You can get on the phone. You can go down there. You can send a snail mail letter. You can do all kinds of... You know, you're smart. You're a media person. You can figure out who to call that will help out. I used to be a media person. Anyway... Uh, well, what we're doing. It's me. Anyway, you're making me angry, and I don't want to be angry. Okay, don't be angry. Anyway, uh, let's get on to... All of a sudden, you were in perfect sync in the beginning, and now you're out of sync. I don't... Well, I don't you know, I, everything's a problem for you, isn't it? I well, get, you, know, you know what I've been... I don't know what to do. You, you know what I've been using... Oh, crazy. You know what I've been doing with most of the people uh, who I interview now? We do Zoom because Zoom is so much better. I don't have that problem with them. They never go out of sync. But anyway, we're, we're still using Skype because it's easier for you because that's the way we've been doing it. Uh, let me ask I you. I do Zoom. What? what? You do Zoom? I can do Zoom. Why well, can't I? Well, maybe next time I'll send you my link and we'll do Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you do Zoom. Jeez, everything we've been through today, you find something wrong with. This time it was me. No, 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 no. I'm not finding anything wrong with you at all. I'm just saying that I was doing Skype because we're used to doing Skype. But if you want to do Zoom, I'll send you the Zoom I, you link You know, I just time. have a, I'll do Zoom. I have to. It's the way I see my doctors now. Yeah. And, um, uh, and you know, and it works fine. I mean, I don't see... I know you keep having difficulties with Skype, so if there's one that works better, we should do it. Okay, we'll do Zoom next time. I'll send you the link, and then you'll call me at uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, time, and we'll we'll do it that way. Because it's, I just find it so much better than Skype now. You know, I'm doing all the uh, panels and everything on my show at night using Zoom, just simply because Zoom is so much better. Anyway, uh, uh, let me ask you this. Coronavirus, you deal with an older audience because it's called timegoesby.net, uh, and you talk about what it's like to get older and to go through the things you've gone through. How is your audience, re because they're an older audience, I know that as an older person, I've been especially careful about the virus. I don't think, you know, part of my problem is I haven't left the house in four months, basically. I've gone out a couple of times. How's your how's your audience reacting to this? About going out? I mean, are they, are they fearful of it? Are they do they feel that they are they have to really watch out for it, or are they just well, what happens happens? Oh no, that's only young people that yeah, say that. Yeah. Or, or or Trump people that are never going to change. Yeah. Um, but they're they're really smart about it. I mean, first of all, you have to understand about old people mm -hmm. is or no that's not the right word the retired people have already had a lot of practice of not being in and out of the house all day every day mm -hmm. you, we, we've learned how to live in a different way um, and mo and as you get older you can't do as many right. if, even if if there's no big deal restriction on you mm -hmm. You get tired, or you know, <laughs> so you don't go out to do as much. You don't go club hopping all night, every night, and out drinking every night, and not much of that anymore. And so that's already built into your life when you're old. Yeah. And so you have le you have less reason, or need, or even desire sometimes to go out. So it's easier, I think, for us than very young people who, you know, when you're in your twenties. It's your job to go out and see people every night, you it's, know, it's and to, be so, it, to, be so, you to be so, to be so, to be social. But, yeah. Um, but from when we've discussed it on the blog, everybody's quite accepting of it, really accepting um, of, you know, they've read all the contradictory instructions because nobody has given any direct instructions of exactly the right stuff to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. And, all are smart enough to figure out it's really important and what's important to do. And, um, and yeah, I think that, you know, I think everybody is aware that if an old person gets the virus, and, and some of them even state it this way, you know, the, you're pro I, I know for me that I believe it's true that if I get the virus, just let me go. It's not, you're not going to be able to save me long term anyway. So 
let me go. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so we're careful, but I think we're careful in an intelligent way in that we've all got gloves to wear. Uh, that we, some of us, I'm one of them, have elaborate ways of handling the mail. That yeah. we never well, open mail uh, on the day we how get long it. Do you, how long do you wait to open it after you spray it? Um, three, days. <laughs> three days. I don't spray it. I put it, I have a box out on my patio that's well covered. It Rain yeah. can't get to it. And I leave it out there. I don't bring it into the box. And I bring stuff in from the box about twice a week. Yeah. So if somebody sends me a snail mail note, a card or a letter or something, doesn't happen very often, they might expect a response sooner, but that's, they're not getting it because I don't even know I have the note for half a week. Well, we have a disinfectant. I think it's Mr. Clean with the biological yeah. disinfectant in it. And when stuff comes in, a box comes in, we spray it from a distance. Well, you're talking boxes. I'm talking letters. Yeah, but I'm talking boxes and also letters, too. I mean, we're, we're, we, we actually leave the letters sitting on the table in the foyer for uh, about two days, three days, you know, before we open them up. Yeah. But and that's, I mean, the only reason to do that is that when they were sorting mail at all the steps along the way, you know, mm -hmm. somebody may have sneezed on it or mm -hmm. touched it when they and they have the virus and don't know it. Mm -hmm. They're still working. Um, and so and it doesn't I think on surfaces at last they keep, you know, it's a different answer every day. But I think the most recent one is um, that it lasts a day or two. Well, the World Health Organization said they're beginning to believe it does not adhere to surfaces very well. It doesn't adhere to packages, for instance. Uh, uh, countertops Don't that are... Don't go there. Can we, can we skip that part? Well, they say countertops because it's just, are porous. Oh, there's so many different answers, there's no definitive answer. Well, I, the fact is that every week we come up with new information. That's what I'm saying, yeah. so there's no point in discussing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. So, so basically, I mean, like, I agree with you that as you get older, you're not as sociable, and you're, you don't feel you're capable of doing the same things you used to be able to do. I know there were people going on marches, you know, for the Black Lives Matter thing. Some of them went through Harlem. I wanted to join them, but I said, you know something, and I said this when I was younger, I said, protesting is a young person's occupation, you know, and, I, I did, and so I feel I did my job. You know I did. Uh, hell, you had to you had to pull me out of New York to go to London when uh, Kent State happened and said we're going on a vacation no matter what. And then we wound up at the American Embassy outside the American Embassy at our hotel, and there was everybody protesting. So I went out and protested. Uh, when you're young, you can protest. You've got the energy, you've got the stamina, and you've got the social ethic. Uh, I just didn't feel I could join them. I didn't feel that I could safely join them to begin with and that uh, there was no social distancing going on. Uh, and most of them were wearing face masks to their, to their uh, uh, credit. Uh, but uh, I, you know, I, I wish I had gone, been able to go out there, but I just didn't feel I could, you know? And that made me feel kind of bad because I was mad. Well, you do what you can do. I mean, I can't because I can't even get from here to the bath to the bedroom without breathing hard, so, yeah. you know, how am I going to march? But, um, you know, the other thing about my readers is some of them mention you know, they miss, well, as, as I do, I miss having, I, you know, I got too old to go out to dinner with friends because I get sleepy early. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> but I did lunches, and I mm. miss the lunches. Uh, they miss, they have reading groups and other kind of groups they used to go to, and they miss those. Some are, if it... A lot of them, people uh, were making masks, well, before making, you know, things for mm -hmm. children's hospitals and stuff like that, that they did as a group. Um, the people that I know here done a lot of that. So now they're doing it at home and they're using Zoom uh, to meet and talk with each other. Although now apparently the latest big thing is Zoom fatigue, which I could have told you the first time I tried. <laughs> it, was just, it was just, it wears me out, you wow. know? I and mean, it's yeah. different here with you Mm -hmm. First of all, it's one on one. There's mm -hmm. not a whole bunch of people on the screen. There's just you and me, and um, and you're, you're you know. Do you know that I've known you longer than any other person alive? Really? Yes. Son of a bitch. 
What are you looking at? <laughs> so who the other person might be, I know. Um, yeah, I mean, I was 17 when we met. Oh, boy. Well, and, hey, listen. And, you know, that's yeah. 60 years ago. We've just, run, um, we've just run out of time. Oh, okay. I'll shut up. We talked about this last time, oddly enough. We, you mentioned I it once to me. I don't remember. Yeah, we, 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 I know you longer than I've known anybody. I'm trying to think. Anybody? No, my friend Roy Trumbull died. Oh, we've already talked. You're right yeah, about this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you're you're it too. That's so, the other thing about being old. So we you, can't be, you better what we you be, said you, last week. <laughs> you, you better not go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Ronnie Bennett can be found at timegoesby.net. Goodbye, Ronnie. Goodbye.